Believe it or not, I did pretty good filming the day after my incident, or or, or my first time being uh. I'm freaking out of my mind. I can't even shut this damn door. I can't even. Yeah, that. See, the first day we actually rode UTVs. If you guys want to see that, I'll put that in another video. Just tell me in the comment section below. I'd appreciate it. If not, I won't, I won't post it. But that day, not only did we do UTV rides, but they had the races, they had like four wheeler races, they had all these different kinds of races. And then Sunday, today, this upload that you're about to watch, uh, Jake and his parents were going to race their bikes. Your jersey didn't come in yet though, buddy. Hopefully next race. You gonna practice hole shots or something? Today is our second day in South Carolina. Uh, nobody's raced yet. We watched the UTV races for myself. Yesterday also acted as like a pre-registration for these guys so they didn't have to wait in the line today. Oh, the line's cut down now. We could see the line over there, but uh, like I said, it's down. But the first race starts in an hour, so if the, you just came in, you better hurry up and sign up because it's, it's a long line. <laughs> So we're Jake's uh, cheerleaders today, Seth. If you treat me like I'm not gonna, be, I'm not gonna put gas, gas in this bike. <laughs> put some water in this tank. Jake wanted rain last night, and now we're getting it. Jake, here you go. The skies are really dark over there. So in the beginning of the day, they have certain classes that meet up and race the first race. Now, I think the first race was like 713 people. You have 713 riders on one track riding around and, and have these transponders. When they go through a checkpoint, it, it documents that and that transponder tells you what place you're in. And they're all different kind of classes, so there's multiple first places. His mom and dad just got done racing, now it's Jake's turn. At the beginning of the day, Jake's parents actually went and raced with, with the first, I think many said 713 racers. 713 racers. Yeah, then we went down to the starting line to see Jake take off. But before we get to that clip, I do want to thank a lot of you guys for going to machinemerch.com. I do have a very, very important thing to tell you guys. Um, Andrea K, Frank V, Kara N, Paula C, David N, Noah C, Jeremy C, Michael D, Tanner K. I want to tell you guys something very, very important. Now, when you get this stuff in the mail, and you go to wear it, Make sure you have plenty of space around you because uh, you will be very, very sharp. Jake took off to the starting line. Seth and I made like a pit area, I guess just a refuel area on Jake's third lap. We're gonna go ahead and fill him up and then probably come back to this area and watch the bikers at first and then we'll meet Jake back at the pit area on lap number three. Seth couldn't race today because his bike is still torn apart. How do you feel about that, Seth? Fortunate. I have to say, Jake was looking extremely good at the race. you did hear me say that his jersey didn't come in yet we as you saw like a couple weeks ago we made the guys machine jerseys they got machine here machine here machine everywhere looking sharp yeah but those didn't come in yet so the first class takes off then the next one And a couple more go by. And then it's Jake's turn. Come on, 
Jake just met this guy that is sitting right beside him. You can see him talking with the guy. Well, when it comes down to racing, you take things pretty seriously. That was damn good. That was very good. Jake stood his ground. The guy next to him almost wrecked. Next five, ten riders are going to be him. So. so this is his class? Yep. Where is he? Oh, he's in the back. Here he comes. Nice. All these guys are in the same class. Check the toilet stake. Let's check the toilet stake. Oh He's ripping. He was doing great. That was a very nice pass. Are you timing it? So what's the plan? We're gonna see how fast you can do a lap. Time it because because we gotta gas him up on on lap number three. I should have brought my toolbox. Let's go grab his toolbox. Team Machine Pit Crew. but one time Seth, Jake, and I went snowboarding and Jake crashed on a snowboard. This is his first time ever. Right wrist. Right wrist. And uh, he pulls into the pit real here. He goes up and I asked him what he wants and he says he wants a new wrist. We gave him gas, he was off. He's doing good. Yesterday we checked out the UTVs for fun. We also rode the UTVs for fun. Now it's all about packing up. Seth and I are gonna pack up. Jake's still racing. His parents are probably watching him and supporting them and being good parents. We're gonna be good friends and pack all this stuff up. Jake's parents even have backup bikes. They're doing it better than we are. And especially better than Crush. Crush is still down. Clutch is in the mail. We gotta take my bed apart in order to get the bikes in. Bed comes down, bikes go in. And yeah, the bikes, the bikes go in. You, you look smoked, man. I know, I didn't even finish. Yeah. You look wild. Dude, my wrist is freaking killing me. I can't do it. It sucks, doesn't gotta, it? I can't do it. I gotta wait for the heel or else I can't ride hard. Like you're out. I just have to treat. The bike looks good, though. No damage. No damage at all. Just throw that thing back in. No problems at all. Left the racetrack, look at this. These guys even got ladders. You want me to, you want me to wash your truck down? You can do everything here. You can even take a shower if you wanted to. Best thing about these pumps are the fact that you can fill up an entire empty tank in like one minute flat. Fuel stop number two. Remember kids, always use your resources. We're not getting fuel here, we're getting fuel over here. And the reason why we went here is because this bathroom was no good. But this place's bathroom was better and prices were better. So remember, use your resources. Are we filled up? Oh, 
4.30. Exactly 12 hours. We left at 4.28.